Imagine you're a parent nervously pacing around your injured child's hospital room. A doctor begins asking you question after question about how your kid got hurt. You begin to realize that they're actually asking about your involvement in the accident. Where were you when he fell? How did he actually fall? And then you slowly start to see that they think you hurt your child intentionally. Wondery and NBC News present Do No Harm, the terrifying true story of a family torn apart by the system that was supposed to protect them. Investigative reporter Mike Hixenbaugh chronicles what happens to the Bright family when their three kids are ripped away from them and the shocking moments that came next. With exclusive audio captured as the events unfolded, Do No Harm takes you inside the most harrowing moments of the Bright family's fight to protect their children. Wondery, the makers of Dr. Death, Dirty John, and The Shrink Next Door, and NBC News, the team behind Dateline, The Thing About Pam, and Motive for Murder, join forces to bring you an investigative true crime show unlike any other. Do no harm. You're about to hear a preview of Do No Harm. While you're listening, be sure to subscribe to Do No Harm on Apple Podcasts. Join Wondery Plus and the Wondery app to listen to episodes one week early and ad-free. It was half past five on a Wednesday evening in Tomball, Texas. LeVar Jones pulled off the highway, put his car in park, and sent a text to his boss. Just an update, I'm waiting on law enforcement to meet me at the residence. As he would later testify, LeVar was worried about how this night might play out. I do believe that they will give me a hard time. That's why I have not initiated yet, so I'll wait and play it by ear. Two hours later, he was still waiting. The police backup he'd requested wasn't on the way, and LeVar decided to go it alone. I'm going to go ahead and attempt to initiate. He drove north on a tree-lined country road, passing pastures lined with white fences. Then he turned off into a newly built subdivision where all the trees were chopped down, but the streets are all named after them. Right turn on Pine Trace Drive, left on Hickory Lane right on Black Birch. He pulled up outside a two-story brick house with big glass windows, a small square of lawn, one of many that looked almost exactly like it, the home of Melissa and Dylan Bright. He was here because he believed that these two might harm their children, that they might already have harmed their children. That's why he had to act tonight. LeVar was nervous as he stepped out of his car and walked towards the front door. Inside the house, the Brights had reason to be nervous too. That's why they planned to record everything that night. Okay, it is 7.30, September 19th, and our meeting with LeVar, we've just been told that- LeVar didn't know, couldn't have known, that he was about to walk into the toughest fight of his career a scandal that would rock the government agency where he works and raise serious questions like, who's really looking out for children? And is this what it takes to keep them safe? Okay, calm calm down. No, it's my children. I can't calm down. I'm I'm not, we're not gonna do that. And so we can't see our children until then? My breastfed son? You are taking him from my breast. Melissa. You are responsible for taking my child away from my breast. Subscribe to Do No Harm on Apple Podcasts. Join Wondery Plus in the Wondery app to listen one week early and ad free. That was just a preview of Do No Harm from Wondery and NBC News. To hear the entire episode, subscribe to Do No Harm on Apple Podcasts. Join Wondery Plus in the Wondery app to listen early and ad-free.